somehow we've arrived suddenly into a place where black Americans are authoring the exact same thing that our ancestors fought to end. Discrimination, segregation, but we've made a spin on it and said, but this is a positive form of discrimination. This is a positive form of segregation because we're choosing it. It's wrong. It's just wrong. I mean, I, I don't see how you can't just plainly say an all black dorm is racist. It should be all black, all white, all Hispanic. It's racist. It should never exist at all. Okay. You sleep where you sleep. You don't like sleeping there. You leave the school. You can decide to go somewhere else, but we don't play that game on college campuses. We don't play, you know, X amount of people quotas are going to be allowed into school. It needs to be a merit based. I don't care what color you are. Let me see how you perform. Let me see. And yes, maybe looking at the activities without knowing what color you are, I might say, okay, his SC is a little lower, but he has taken on, he was playing full-time basketball and all that, so I think he'd be a good fit. Again, race does not need to be present for that determination to be made. We, I, but, I think, but why is race the only thing that we can't consider? So, for example... We shouldn't consider it because it's racist! LeBron James. Yes. If LeBron James were going into college right now with a lower SAT score and a lower GPA, and you're the president of the university, and he wants to go to Princeton, he wants to play Ivy League basketball, right? And he's, he's, he's a little bit lower than everyone else. Do you not let him in because there's a white guy who's above him? Let him into the school. If if his SAT is low yeah. and he's not doing well, but, but he's an extraordinary basketball player and he's good enough to be in the school. I'm not saying he's his numbers are you, good. You still don't need his race on the piece of paper to determine that. No, I, I'm take his race off. Let's yeah, take off race. That's my point. Okay, let's pick a white guy. Let's Dirk Nowitzki wants to, wants to apply. My point is, if someone had an extraordinary talent like basketball, we we, we let basketball players in all the time with lower GPAs. Right, but I'm saying that determination. It. No, regardless, if you're going to say we want to make sure we have a healthy mix, you should not be hitting what race you are, period, when you apply to school. And that's, and that's what my I'm, point. And what I, I get you, I fully comprehend your point. What I'm saying is, is that we should consider in the same way that we're willing to have a diverse group of people, like I'm, I want to have some flute players and I want to have some soccer players and I want to have uh, some, you know, some people from Iowa. It's okay to say I want some black people. But so is it okay to say that I want, you know, Jewish people? Yeah. So you're okay with all of it? Yes. I, we want there is all a Asians. long history of excluding Jewish people from universities, it and is? so we had to create spaces for Jewish. We, we so part of why you have a um, what's the school in New York? It begins with a B. A Brandeis. Part of why you have a Brandeis is precisely because there has been a denial of of Jewish people, both professors mm -hmm. and students, into mainstream universities. So we had to create space for them, right? And so I wouldn't go to Brandeis and say, "Oh my God, that's." That's that, that's a that's a um that's a that's a that's a segregated university. I say no, good for them. That's a beautiful choice. And black people can go there now. White people, Gentiles can go there now. Mm -hmm. Right? Christians and Muslims can go there now. You know, but it's largely a predominantly and historically Jewish institution, which is great. And what I'm saying similarly is I'm okay with black folk having that. I'm okay with carving out spaces for ourselves when we when, when for people but who you have would been never marginal. be okay with it if white people did that. Under, if I were at Harvard, I mean, excuse me, if I were at Howard. And there were a group of white people who said, you know what, we're the 50 white kids at Howard and we want to have our own space. Cool. I'm good with that. An all white dorm at Howard. You think that'd be, that would go down well? I don't, I, I think it's such a counterfactual hypothetical because most white people don't want to go to Howard because they don't be around that many black people. And that's okay. You know what I mean? In fact, most people who go to, you know, end up going to Howard? Athletes, oftentimes, for undergrad, not grad. Athletes. Because they're a division, they want to be a division one basketball player and they didn't get into Duke or Wake Forest or what they didn't get recruited, but they go, they'll go to Howard, right? Which is a good school, but not the best basketball school. Mm -hmm. It's actually very interesting, interestingly similar to what happens to these black kids when they're going to Duke or Wake Forest. And so, and it's, I'm okay with that. I don't say, well, why are we letting that white guy in as an athlete? Call me crazy, but I think discrimination is discrimination. There's no such thing as positive I agree. discrimination.